Now, it's time to bring up the app. So I'm going to go to Devices, and there's the Blaze. So, I really liked you, Blaze. You were awesome. We had some good times together. Okay, I'm deleting the Blaze. Unpair. Okay, I have unpaired it. It is gone. Now, now I'm going to click on Setup Device. Versa. Set up your Fitbit Versa. Okay, licensing agreement. Well, of course we agree. Why wouldn't we? Right? That whole part about the firstborn child and all that. Just set up, set aside 30 minutes to complete setup. Charge versus 50% and keep charging throughout setup. Ensure access to reliable Wi-Fi does not require that does not require browser authentication. Next. Alright. Let's well, gonna keep the versa charging throughout the setup. So I guess I'm gonna take it off and place it on the charger. So, there's the charger. I'm going to take the fancy plastic off from around it. And take this part off. Okay. Interesting, like a handhold. Alright, so hopefully I don't unplug my Mac in the process of trying to plug this up. Okay, so, now I have it plugged up. Look, it's the Versa, it's plugged up. Um, when I first plugged it up to my Mac, <coughs> it didn't seem to be charging. But now, um, I do see the charging going on. So, that's cool. Alright, so that's all set. Now, going back to the app. So it says, next. Now that I have it on the charger. Next. It's searching for my Versa. Got the little Bluetooth icon there. Will it find it? Will it find it? Hope so. Wow. Something happened. Oh, I found it. Mm -hmm. It's connecting. Oh, I have a number now on the device. It's asking me to type in the code. All right. If you've set up a Fitbit before, you've probably gone through this where you had to type in a code to confirm. Yep, yep, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I typed in the code, and now it says connecting. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Now I have the uh, Fitbit icon is has the is dancing. Probably kind of hard to tell this light, but it's dancing, dancing. It's kind of uh, like a glimmering star. All right, still waiting on the connecting. Mm -hmm. I do think I'm going to learn how to put the large band on. The little band. Oh, I have a check box over here. Okay. Now I guess I'm waiting. Oh, now something's happening. Oh, it sees it. It's happy. Now let's do the Versa Wi-Fi setup. All right. All right, so now the Wi-Fi logo set up on the device is going through. Oh, check mark. Where it says now connect to the Wi-Fi. How interesting. My previous one was not. Now it says update Versa to the latest. Let's see if we can get it close enough. You can read. All right, so 
I'm gonna choose next. And let's see, you can do awesome things. These are all the awesome things you can do with your watch. What I'm most excited about is swimming. I'm also slightly excited about Fitbit Pay. I've used Android, Google Wallet, Google Pay, whatever they changed the name of it to this time. And I really like it. It's very convenient. And so I do like it. And I'm probably going to try to use Fitbit Pay because I'm hoping that's going to be convenient. I could just reach my wrist over to the device and read my card. And also it tracks, says it tracks your activity. Um, wear your watch your way. How many ways are there to wear my watch? Get notifications at a glance. Optimize your workouts. Music on the go, phone free. It does have two gig of storage, so I can put two gig worth of MP3s on there. And if I have Bluetooth head, uh, head earbuds, headphones connected to the Fitbit, then I can listen to music without having the phone with me. Um, so it's really good. Now, the different, the biggest difference between the Versa and the Ionic is that the Ionic does have a built-in GPS. The Versa does not. But I use the Blaze with my phone as a GPS, and that was convenient for me. I rarely go anywhere without my phone anyway, because what if something happens? I need to, you know, call. I, I'm running and I fell over. I need somebody to come get me. Um, or I have a flat on my bicycle. Come pick me up. So anytime you need to call the sag wagon, it's so much easier to have your phone. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, so there's just some of the things. But I'm going to take a look to see where I watch your way. It's really talking about the faces, that you can change the faces on the Versa to many different things. And there's even a uh, Fitbit Studio that you can download and make your own watch face, which I think is pretty cool. And it's probably something I'm going to do if I don't see a watch face I like. It sounds like a lot of fun. So you kind of you have to rest as a developer, but then you get it and you go do what you want. Life is good. Um, that may be more technical than most people want, but um, I like having options. Options are fun. Okay, track your activity, how many steps you've taken, what distance you traveled, all the things that the other Fitbits that since Blaze and Ionic have come out do. Um, I had I had the original Fitbit Ultra. I then had the Fitbit Charge. And then um, instead of getting the Charge 2, I jumped over and got the Blaze. And each time it's been because um, I had the previous device. It's about two years each. And uh, that seems to be when things kind of stop working. And so you get another one. And um, I'm sure we're all tied into the upgrade cycle somehow. Um, here it's doing the uh, firmware update. So you see the bar that shows progress. It was, I should have showed it to you earlier, it actually was like short and of course it's expanding as it goes. So it looks like it must be getting close. All right, see it says step two. It actually says it's downloading. 21% downloaded. Hmm, so it may take a little time. Anyway, that's it. That was the unboxing. Um, next, I'll give you some update on my experiences using it. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.